Hi there, this is Gerald Lexel from ProSite Tutorials where I talk about professional websites in five steps. And in this video, I'm going to explain how you can add privacy policy pages to your WordPress website. This is a way for you to actually protect your website. Anyway, uh, I did a video about this about a year ago, but I noticed that uh, the plugin that I mentioned over there is no longer available. At least you cannot find in the plugin section from WordPress. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can install another plugin, which I found, and I I really like it because it's really simple for you to use. It will automatically do these pages for you. You just need to have some information from yourself and about your website so you can actually use this. As you can see my website at the moment, I still don't have uh, this privacy policy pages. I actually forgot about adding it. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can do this. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is simply go to your back office over here you want to go to the plugin section and add new. So I'm going to search for privacy policy as you can see I already have over here saved. And it, the one that I'm going to use is this one. Auto terms of service and privacy policy. You have other ones. I already, uh, I already tested a few other ones. But I actually like this one because it's really, really simple for you to use. And just in a few minutes, you can add these pages to your website. I'm just going to press install, activate plugin. And as you can see, now I have the plugin activated. So where I want to go so I can configure this plugin is simply go to the settings. And you can see that now I have this new section called Auto. Uh, T O O S and P P. So I'm going to I'm going to click on it. And the way that this work works is you have this three codes which you actually need to insert to a new page. And once you have this plugin activated, that page will be transformed into uh, the privacy policy page that you want. So I'm just going to copy this little uh, piece of, uh, pieces of coding and just save it over here on a blank notepad. And now below I'm going to activate this plugin just by clicking on this option. I'm going to have my full name. Actually I'm going to do this really quickly. So basically you just need to fill this information over here, uh, the domain name for my website. I'm just going to leave it this way. Uh, official website, okay. And over here, you just need to put some information. I'm just going to copy this because I don't want to waste time. So you would need to put your own information over here. And once that is done, I'm just going to press Save Changes. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new page so I can insert this piece of coding. So I'm just going to pages and add new. And basically all you need to do is go to the test section. I actually think it also works on the visual, but I'm now I'm not certain. And over here you just need to go and copy this piece of coding and simply paste it over here. And I'm going to call this page privacy policy. And make sure that you have your comments disabled and also the trap backs because you certainly don't want anyone making comments on this page. If you don't have this option appearing below, simply go to the screen options that appears be, uh, on top and you can see that you have this session called discussion. You just need to check on it and you will see that this options will appear below. Also, I'm going to take uh, this sharing buttons because I don't need that and I'm go just going to do publish. Basically this is how you can add these pages to your website and now I'm going to do preview changes and you can see that now I have a privacy policy page and now the last step is simply add to my navigation bar. 
And firstly, this this theme I cannot add to my uh, footer section. I would actually need to code that to add to my footer footer section because I don't have that option. But usually, I recommend for you to add the privacy policy page to your footer section instead of your main navigation bar because it just doesn't look that great. Okay, you basically need to do the same thing for my terms of service and also my terms of service and privacy policy page. So you have these three options that you can add. And I'm just going to add this to my navigation bar. So for me to do that, I simply go to Appearance and I select Menus. And you can see that now on most recent because this is, was the, the last page that I created, I have my privacy policy, which I just need to add to menu. You can see that appears right over here. So you actually, if you had a footer uh, section that you could use, you, mo you probably would need to create a menu just for your footer section and select that option over here. Be, in, in this case, I don't have that option for this theme. So I'm going just to insert my main navigation bar. So now I'm just going to press Save Menu I'm going to refresh my website. And you can see that now I have the link to my privacy policy. I really like this, this plugin because it's really simple, really easy for you to use. I know that you probably want, there are some options that you don't have with this, uh, this plugin and you may want one that is more complex but if you just want something really simple I really like this plugin and I recommend for you to use it so basically you would need to do the same thing for the other ones and it's pretty simple that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel so you can receive our latest updates so that is all for now stay tuned with ProSite tutorials and bye